Okay. So first of all, what we are going to do is uh, we will go to our MySQL workbench. Okay, and uh, here what I'm going to do is uh, we'll create one table which is going to be our uh, slowly changing dimension table. Okay, so with me everyone, what we have is we have a customer table, right? So I think we did it already. We have this uh, EK customer key. Yeah, okay, I was doing it. So. Uh, what what we will do is we have this customer table right into the SQL database where we have the customer ID, store ID, first name, last name, email, address ID, active, created it, last updated date. So what we will do is we will take customer ID as a, our natural key and then the first name, last name, okay, email are the attributes. The store ID, address ID, we will ignore it. So create one table into the database which is going to have a primary key which has been auto increment column right and then uh, customer id is going to be your natural key first name last name and email is going to be the attribute so how we are going to do it i'm going to first create a table i'm going to call it as a dim customer so dim is for the dimension and it is going to work for your SED type 1. So let's see, we are going to take the structure of the table. So easy ways I can just say. So what you have to do is right click on the customer table, say send to the SQL editor, date statement. So this statement will open and we can easily modify this one instead of, you know, completely creating a, completely typing the new one. So it is easy to work out as well. So I'm going to take this first column as a auto increment column. Okay. Then customer ID is going to be there and uh, I'm just going to remove the auto increment from that then what we have is we don't need the store id so i'm going to remove that as well then we don't need our uh, address id active stuff we definitely need the created date but this created date is not going to be mapped to the customer this one is going to be used while we are inserting the data into the table so created date last updated date also i'm going to take let's say it's fine. Primary key I will change to the customer key. Okay, and uh, let's do the execution. Okay, so okay, we need to select a database. Right, so we have created the table now. Now, once the table is created, what next needs to be done is we have to bring the table into the repository. Okay, so I'm just sort of showing you the samples, but let me create it from the beginning. And uh, and if you will think that, you know, why we can't do it directly, creating the table into the talent, yes, that options are also available. But what I'll always prefer is to have the schema available beforehand uh, before we will do the development of the database. So we can have the more control on the structure and it is easy to design as well. Right. So now once this is done, uh, what we need to do.